Incompetence. It was just a week ago that the entire Biden White House was dedicated to spinning the notion that this man was a master criminal and terrorist. No, that's America's mayor, Rudy Giuliani. This is a terrorist. What a difference a week makes. With so many Biden personnel working on indicting and arresting Donald Trump along with his presidential staff, there didn't appear to be anyone left to work on preventing real terrorism. It is the job of the White House to not simply react to events, but to anticipate and shape them. What we have in the persons of Joe Biden and his Secretary of State Anthony Blinken is a record of incompetence. Let's look at the track record the network news is hiding from the American people. And what are your plans? 120 days. Give me a break. Need time. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. This is from the Daily Beast. How Biden kept screwing up Iraq again and again. Dated December 2019, they noted that Joe Biden voted to authorize President Bush's use of force from Congress in waging the Iraq War of 2003. Biden aide Anthony Blinken said at the time of the congressional debate, quote, In many ways, those hearings were remarkably prescient about what was to happen. Under Secretary of State Blinken and Vice President Biden were later tasked by President Obama to negotiate the agreement keeping U.S. forces in Iraq. When asked about Biden, the Daily Beast quoted an aide to the Iraqi Kurdish president who said that the Americans were picking events and reacting on the basis of events. That is the policy. Blinken was part of the diplomatic team shuttling between Baghdad and Washington at the time. Biden boasted, I'll bet you my vice presidency that Iraqi President Maliki will extend the Status of Forces Agreement. Biden and Blinken failed, miserably. American troops left Iraq, and Islamic State filled the power vacuum that Obama-Biden had created. Here is a similar analysis from Vox in October 2019, when they were still permitted to report negative news about candidate Joe Biden. The former president has a long, complicated, and some would say checkered history with Iraq. ISIS cannily exploited that anger and fear to recruit new fighters from disaffected Sunni communities. With the U.S. distracted by the Arab Spring and the growing civil war in Syria, the Obama administration failed to adequately respond to the clear upswell in the terrorist group's ranks by late 2013. I think the criticism of us that we didn't see the problem is unfair. Anthony Blinken, a top Obama official and now a Biden campaign advisor in 2019, told The Atlantic, It's fair to say that we were not effective in dealing with it before the fact. The Obama-Biden administration's other initiative was instigating a civil war in Syria. The result was hundreds of thousands dead and even more refugees. As Business Insider noted at the time, President Obama did not complete the job of regime change in Syria because he desperately wanted Iran to sign the John Kerry negotiated nuclear deal. The United States delivered billions of dollars of cash to the Tehran regime, which they then funneled into terrorist activities such as funding Hamas. Which brings us to now, October 2023. Uh, when we talk about Hamas, we're actually talking about Iran. They are interchangeable. Uh, this is funded, uh, trained, uh, almost certainly directed, at the very least greenlighted by the Iranian regime, the very regime that wants to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. And so President Biden owes the American people today an explanation about how he permitted this to happen, why it was he couldn't deter the Iranian regime. The, the administration has been battling uh, criticism all weekend over the $6 billion that they just freed up 
to Iran, and they continue to say, no, 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 there are rules around that money. It's going to be used for humanitarian purposes, even though we've actually heard from uh, the Iranians who said, we'll use the money the way we want to use the money. For you, this is Fox Business. The people watching this show get the math. If you have $6 billion inbound, you're going to go buy yourself whatever it is you want to go buy. Uh, and so the, the administration is lying. They're gaslighting the world, saying that this $6 billion isn't going to fall into the hands of terrorists and benefit them. We certainly know that it will. And Maria, you and I have been talking about Iran for, goodness, almost a decade now. We, we, know, we know this much is true. We had stripped the Iranians of their capacity to move crude oil around the world. They had less than $5 billion in foreign exchange reserves when we left office. Today, they have over $60 billion of foreign exchange reserves. They are a wealthy, flush nation because the Biden administration just simply refused to enforce the sanctions that they're legally required to do. So don't ask Joe Biden to keep the peace. He can't even handle the stress of answering questions from reporters. What was your reaction? 